Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Psycho Gold, and this is Psycho Gold Videos. Now, before we start, for those of you who are not in my Discord, don't follow me on Twitter, or aren't a Patreon member, I should say that I have actually been exceptionally unwell these past few days, really this entire week, um, which is why uh, there hasn't been much activity from me. I think I'm finally, finally starting to get over what I've been dealing with for these last, well, couple weeks, week, couple weeks and a half. Um, I, uh, I had some not nice nights, um, but now that I've had them, I think it's finally out of my system and I'm now approaching salvation instead of being stuck down there, just unable to get any anything to happen. Now, I'm still not 100%, but if you saw my Broly reaction, then you know that uh, I wasn't very great the other night. And honestly, that night, oh my lord, it only got worse from there. Um, so thank you to those people who uh, sent me their well wishes, etc. Um, I do appreciate it. It definitely helped knowing that there were so many of you guys out there. It helped a lot. Today we're going to be watching Goblin Slayer Episode 6. This has uh, been out for about an hour. Uh, so we're going to check it out now and I'm hoping to get it out. Uh, pretty quick so Fingers crossed from your guys point of view. This might be the quickest. I've actually had Goblin Slayer out in quite a while, but uh, So long as nothing out of the ordinary happens I don't see any reason why it won't be out now last week on Goblin Slayer We actually had something of a bit of an odd episode for Goblin Slayer. It was kind of serene and happy and nothing really Happened like everybody was still alive at the end of the episode who started off that way <laughs> now, I'm very curious to see if this episode is going to follow suit or if we're going to immediately start in a dark place to make up for all the happy light turns that we had in the last episode. It was still an enjoyable episode last week, just not what I've come to expect from the Slayer of the Goblin. So without further ado, let's find out and see what this week's episode has in store for us. Three, two, one, go! Oh. Oh! Okay. Well, that answers that question. Right back into the dark stuff. Oh! They ain't goblins. Is that a slitch? Just about managed to have things covered there. <laughs> oh! Oh! Wait! Oh! Okay! So... Okay. So... You just had a hunch. Oh, wow! They moved quick! They already got her out of whatever she was in. Whoa! Who who the hell is this? Oh wow, she's got some holy power. So it's someone's embellished version of the story. Okay, okay, I see what's happening here then. <laughs> The hero defeated the demon lords what? It's time to slay goblins! <laughs> Enough of your trivial matters. Whatever you've been doing with your life for the past week is irrelevant. For now it is time to slay some goblins. Goblin slayer in the water town. <laughs> She's giving him what for again. Yeah, he's going anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Means that he's softened up some, perhaps. I don't think so. <laughs> oh, it looks like they're all gonna volunteer to go with him. We just finished getting our travel expenses in order. Oh, okay, fair enough. What? Why are you telling him not to do all of that? I don't understand that bit. Well, I suppose ultimately to him he doesn't care. But that does seem really odd to limit your options to not- especially not burning them. Oh wow! He actually knows some local knowledge! Oh! Is it cowgirl? Interesting! Is this going to be significant for the priestess? Because I've 
This is the Temple of Law. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought it was going to be something that would be important to her. The Archbishop is beloved by the Supreme God. She was one of the adventurers who defeated the resurrected Demon Lord. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you need to hire goblin slayers, though, if you're a big legendary hero? Interesting. Now... <laughs> that one tracked mind of his. Ah, oh, so a good Joe stepped up. <laughs> Twas a goblin indeed. Yeah, there won't just be one, especially not attacking a big town like this. That's definitely not their ammo. Yeah, underground definitely seems the way to go. <laughs> it's a very good point. It's a very good point. Oh, okay, so they concluded they were... Oh. I'm going to say everybody here knows of you, dude. Ah, oh, well, in that case. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great answer. I don't know if I can save this town, but I can kill goblins. <laughs> oh, just that's exactly what Goblin Slayer said right at the back at the beginning. People don't want to deal with goblins because they don't think they're enough of a problem. <laughs> I have goblins to slay. Away! Oh, well, definitely sounds like they're down there. Whoa! Okay, that fight scene came out of nowhere. And we didn't get any powerful rock music playing in the background. Whee! Yeah. I thought this was something else was going to happen. Oh. Water's coming through? Uh, what well, doesn't that mean that it's leaking from above? Yeah. Both Goblin Slayer and the Elf suspected as much. What is it, though? Oh. That's a ship! What the hell?! What the f- Pirate Goblins! <laughs> I was going to say, it's time for protection. Just, you know, just try and say the words faster than arrows can fly through the air. Like the fact that her confidence has really, really gone up now. Oh! I feel like you need a remix there. Instead of invaders must die, it's goblins must die. <laughs> that tear gas, or, you know, like a, a medieval equivalent. Certainly looks like it. Whoa! Oh! That was good! Yeah! We finally get to see him in a, in a big fight with him. Yeah, I was gonna say, his tail is a big advantage in that regard. There's something not right about them. They look much more organized than we've been led to believe these goblins can get. Oh! Yeah, I was gonna say, please don't stop. I can only do this so many times. Goblin Slayer is moving and grooving like he's not previously. <laughs> you do that against the demon the other week? Instead of peppering him with the tiny little pebbles! How a great big rocket is head! <laughs> okay, well, they got the ship. Wait, what the hell was that? Oh, uh, not a goblin! Time to run! 
Guys, <laughs> that relative of yours. Can't you go and make tea? I have not kept in contact. <laughs> Brilliant. What? Why have they suddenly got against this whole burning and poisoning thing? I don't understand. Oh! That looks like a goblin mage. And they're heavily armoured. Considering these goblins aren't supposed to have that much intelligence, they certainly seem to. Whoa! <laughs> Good luck, guys! <laughs> Look at him go! Om nom nom nom! I was gonna say, I was wondering how they knew how to use boats. Yeah, someone is manipulating them. Or using them to their own means, anyway. Oh, very good, very good. Because they're cowards. They wouldn't have they wouldn't have wanted to risk fighting it. They're being controlled by somebody else. Oh, okay. Interesting. And there's dice roll again at the end of the episode. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen, that was Goblin Slayer Episode 6, and oh boy, did we jump right back into more traditional Goblin Slaying settings. We started off with what could have been an almost, almost dark sequence, but it actually wasn't as bad as it first looked. It clearly was going in that direction, but a different group of heroes turned up, and we were actually hearing somebody else's tale about how the story went down. And uh, the heroes turned up, used their holy power to deal a significant blow to this demon lord that everybody else seems to be fighting, and uh, rescued the girl. So, all in all, for those three people, whoever they are, they did a pretty good, uh, pretty good day's work, I think. Then we got back to our heroes of the story, and Goblin Slayer is back to his old self, just, you know, fritzing back and forth in his chair. I must kill goblins, I must kill goblins. And, kill goblins, he did, in spades. Yep, we went to a new place. We went to, uh, was it Water City or Water Town? I don't know. But it's a place on the water, and they got to meet a legendary hero known as, uh, Sword Maiden, was it? And she seemed pretty cool. She didn't seem particularly useful, considering she's supposed to be a legendary hero who helped defeat the Demon Lord's armies. But she apparently can't grab a group of heroes together to take on the goblins herself. And you'd think that if she'd gone with the adventures that she'd hired, then in theory, wouldn't it have been child's play for her? Or uh, is she injured? Are those blindfolds not just for show? Is she actually blind? Is that what they're saying? I have absolutely no idea, but I thought it was kind of weird that a legendary hero would need to put out the call for help. I mean, I get it. You've got other stuff to do. You don't want to have to go down and sort out your own goblin pest. You expect other people to be able to handle they all, they're adventuring themselves, right? I mean, come on, that's why they're called adventurers. You've done your duty. <laughs> but even so, you'd think given that she's so um, caring about other people that she would probably have been wanting to go with the groups that she's sending out. But either way, it was still really fun when they actually got down in the bottom of the sewers and we got to see Goblin Slayer actually slaying some goblins. He uh, wasn't holding back with his melee attack, even though for some reason... He was under instructions from the rest of his party to not use water, poison, or fire, which I really don't understand the issue with. They are there to kill these goblins, so whatever makes the job easier, whatever gets the job done with minimum risk to yourself, I definitely endorse that message. But it doesn't look like the elf and the priestess are necessarily agreeing with Slayer's tactics at the moment, which I get, but I don't get. Like, especially the priestess, given that she watched what happened to her original party. You'd think she wouldn't care how the goblins were dealt with, just so long as they were. But the elf I can kind of understand, because she wants it to be more like an like a, like a romanticized version of adventuring, where they find loot, they find treasure, they beat monsters, uh, they always win, and, you know, everybody's day is saved. But that's not the Goblin Slayer reality that we've been introduced to. That's not the Goblin Slayer episodes that we've had. And it almost seems like they're trying to make it be that way now. And to be honest, I do kind of feel like the whole episode is a bit like that. Because if you take out the fact that obviously some of the deaths of the goblins that they killed are still portrayed in a very visceral way, 
there really isn't anything anywhere near as dark as the first couple of episodes of Goblin Slayer. Like, that first episode especially is still very much standing on its own, and it kind of... I don't think it was the intention, but it does ha it has unfortunately had the effect of making it feel like that first episode was done purely for the shock value. Um, which, don't get me wrong, it's exactly what it did. I mean, you know, I'm sure most of you guys know who Kimji and Tofu is, and uh, yeah, their first episode has 374,000 views, I believe, last I checked. And uh, like I said, the power of shock value is not to be underestimated. That first episode went everywhere, man. But the rest of the series hasn't exactly had that same response. And, and there is a rumor going around that there, it was supposed to be more like the first episode, but that it's been cut because there was such a huge backlash to the fact that that first episode was so hard-hitting. Now, I don't necessarily think that you need gore, uh, dark sexual scenes, or anything along those lines to make a good show, but I do think it... There is a place for medium like that in our world, and I don't think getting rid of it or stamping it out whenever it appears is the right way to go. So if the rumors are true that they kind of had their wings clipped when it comes to what they wanted to do with this show, then I kind of feel sad for not being able to see the original work. Um, and it's kind of annoying because it is kind of starting to feel like your average show. And in, in, in not in a bad way, but like... Other than the fact that this world is a little bit darker than the average uh, fantasy medieval world that maybe we've seen before in other shows, not just in anime, but in general, there really isn't that much at the moment that is differing it. I'm still very much enjoying it, and I really enjoy the characters, but uh, I remember saying, you know, either in a live stream or in a previous reaction, that Goblin Slayer is the real world, and they are trying to make it like uh, an adventurer's world and Goblin Slayer to me has always kind of been like this is reality knocking on the door and adventuring isn't a pastime for children it's a very dangerous thing that at any moment could go horrifically wrong and you could end up dead or worse in the case of some of the creatures that you can come across and lose to and I kind of liked that idea that it was uh, not going the route of being a happy-go-lucky anime where, you know, the good guys always win, but it's kind of turning into that one. Uh, obviously, we had the big ogre uh, actually give Goblin Slayer a run for his money, but ultimately he still won. Now, he did make a point of stating in this episode that he doesn't actually have another scroll, because he said if he did, obviously he would have brought the damn thing with him, but he couldn't because he doesn't. Uh, which means that they've had to rely on their smarts. Um, and in this episode, it seems like they were close to being overwhelmed with numbers, but thankfully they were able to manipulate that alligator or swamp dragon, I'm not really sure, because obviously it, it was a big white crocodile, but I don't know if it's more fantasy or is it just a regular, you know, crocodile alligator. But uh, the fact that they were able to use that to kind of save them it is literally what saved them. They were all running on fumes. They'd all been fighting for a while. And, you know, there's so many goblins down there that it is questionable as to what exactly is going on. And then at the end, we got that bombshell that someone is pulling the strings. Now, it looks like a goblin, but obviously that ogre that we had in the last episode made it very clear that he is a demon. So it is entirely possible that this goblin that we're seeing could also be a demon that looks like a goblin, but is very much a demon, and is obviously trying to use the fact that people ignore goblins to disrupt the town where one of the legendary heroes is that defeated um, his demonic lord the last time he tried to invade the world. So unsurprisingly, his forces might want revenge, or he might want revenge, or maybe they just want to make sure that she is out of the way and doesn't try and get involved in the overarching fight. But obviously they didn't count on Goblin Slayer, should that be proven to be the case of what's going on. Now that being said, I did actually really like the uh, Dwarven Mage this time around. The fact that he showed off that he could do more with his little pet rocks than just chuck them at people, essentially, uh, was actually kind of nice. And the fact that he could make that giant rock, I... I all I could think of was an image of that massive ogre, that massive rock, that massive rock, and that massive head splatting. <laughs> no more ogre. But, uh, I don't know. 
I just I just thought if you if you could do more than you could do in that la in that other episode, then I'm not sure why you didn't. But whatever, it looks cool. Um, I really like the fact that he was able to sink the ship with a, this essentially a giant rock. And I also like the fact that we got to see um, our lizard man friend get up close and personal and slice and dice some goblins. I'm sad that he didn't summon his uh, his skeletal friends, considering that they were complaining that they were outnumbered. And we know for a fact he can summon. Uh, I don't know if he can summon two at the same time, but he definitely has enough power in him to summon two in total without needing to rest. So I'll be curious to see if we might see a return of um, his animated friends in maybe the next episode if they have to fight even more goblins. Which, let's face it, it's called Goblin Slayer. They're going to be fighting even more goblins. I also really like the interaction between Priestess and some of the other group, and obviously Goblin Slayer uh, kind of had to save Priestess a little bit because he was carrying her for some of it when they were all trying to run away and that same as the dwarf had to be carried by lizard man which did make me chuckle and I really do like the uh, the dynamic and the banter between uh, the other three party members that joined goblin slayer and priestess especially when they were all running away and the elf said you know oh, we should just feed the uh, the dwarf to the crocodile and be done with it and he was like obviously unimpressed at that comment and I just thought that's the kind of humor that I do like that we've got now that there's a full party. Um, and I do find it interesting as well that Goblin Slayer is trying to better integrate himself into said party. So I'm curious to see if he'll ever get there or if it's uh, just going to be kind of like a Mr. Spock scenario of always trying but never really hitting the mark. Because either way, it was still comical. But yeah, that's probably going to be about it for me, guys. I thoroughly enjoyed episode 6 and I'm looking forward to episode 7. And if you guys enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up, drop some comments down below letting me know what you thought of this episode. And as always dudes, I am going to be here checking this series out each and every week. So if you enjoyed it, click that subscribe button and maybe check out the playlist for some of the other anime or shows that I've been doing recently. And all that really remains for me to do is to say that I am Psycho Gold and I will see you in my next video. Psycho Gold, out.